Hi everyone, uh, welcome to another CodeCast and this time I'm going to teach you how to work with the OmniAuth uh, authentication. So um, I have here the, the page open, the official page. And what is OmniAuth? Uh, as you can see in the second paragraph, OmniAuth is a library that standardizes multi-provider authentication for web applications. Basically, uh, nowadays, um, a lot of uh, websites allow users to sign in with uh, social networks like uh, Facebook, um, GitHub, um, LinkedIn. There are just a few examples, um, which is uh, very, uh, I would say, uh, useful because nowadays users tend to have a lot of different uh, accounts in a lot of different websites. And this is a way that that can um, deliver a, um, a very good user experience for your users. Um, so let me show you the uh, the app we're going to build. This this is it. Very simple, as you are used to. And you just have three buttons. It allows you to log in with Facebook, Twitter, or GitHub. If I press here, if you can see, um, I, I'm going to press you the Facebook. Uh, I'm logged in. This is my actual my profile picture. Uh, it says "Welcome, Pedro Fernandes da Silva," which is my name, and logged in with Facebook. Now, if I try the same with uh, Twitter. You're gonna see it's redirect me to the uh, and here we are. Welcome, Pedro Silva. Logged in with Twitter. That's uh, my profile picture. I have to sign out and the same as you can see with uh, GitHub. So same thing. My profile picture there. Uh, it's a very very simple uh, app, but uh, you'll find it very useful uh, um, to actually to do. Um, in order to use uh, each provider, you have to create an, uh, an application. So if you're using Facebook, you have to go to the developers.com and uh, just go to my apps and add a new app. On GitHub, it's on the sec on settings section, uh, on the applications here, and you can see register a new application. Of course, I have one already set up. Um, and Twitter is the same thing. It's apps.twitter uh, and you have the ability to create a new app. Of course, I have my, my own setup as well. Um, uh, one thing I have to show you uh, just before uh, we start is the app ID and the app secret. So this, uh, these are your credentials, and OmniAuth will need uh, will need to them to to in order to work. So each provider has its own uh, credentials. So um, you can see uh, on GitHub, on Twitter, it's it's practically the same thing. So uh, make sure to uh, take note of the app ID and the app secret. Okay, so let's begin. Let me start by uh, closing the server I would I had open. Let's clear the console. Um, let's uh, begin in creating a new Rails app as always. So Rails new uh, Omnia Omni app. Okay, it's creating all the files. It's running the bundle. Okay. Um, now that we uh, let's go to our uh, directory, and now the first thing we need to do is generate a model for the user. So, um, generate model user provider, which is going to be a string. We need the field provider, um, which is going to say if it's GitHub, Facebook, or Twitter. Then we need a UID, which is a unique identifier, it can be a string as well. And the last one is um, oh, sorry made a mistake sorry the last uh, is a name uh, which is a string as well so press enter okay everything is generated normally so next step is uh, migrate the database so rake db migrate okay everything is cool Okay, so uh, let's go first. Let me let me open the uh, directory, the the folder in our text editor, which is Sublime. So where is it? Is um, my oh, no Omni app? This is it. Okay. First thing, of course, will be to add the gem. So in the, it actually is not just one gem. So each provider you have a gem uh, called OmniAuth then uh, dash uh, the, the, um, the provider. So if I, if I come here to the uh, official page, I'm sure I'm gonna find it here. Somewhere it, they have all the uh, different strategies, gems, but no, they don't. Okay, but there, there's no problem because I know it, uh, I know by heart. So it's 
Omnioth and then Atash um, and the provider. So in the, let's begin with Omnioth um, for Facebook. So it's uh, dash Facebook. Um, next, uh, let's do um, a Twitter. Lastly, uh, a GitHub. So these are, these are the three um, gems that you need to install. Uh, extra gem there. Okay. Now we can uh, run the bundle. So, okay, everything installed properly, no errors. Okay, so the first thing we'll need to do, actually the second thing after the gems is to create a new initializer. So that you can uh, start the Omnioth. So let's call it, um, it has to be named Omnioth.rb. Actually, doesn't have to be named, but uh, for of course for the purpose we're, we're gonna call it Omnioth. Um, I have, um, this is where you're gonna put all the different app uh, keys app in the um, app IDs in app secrets. I have the my old app, the one that I showed you in the demo. I'm gonna copy and paste uh, from this old app uh, so that we can move along a bit um, faster. So just copy this and it must be the rails.application config middleware. Uh, and then you specify each provider with their keys. And uh, remember I said to uh, take note of the keys. This is the reason why, because you have to put it on the, um, on the initializer. So let me just, um, if you can see here, just last, I just wanna check with you guys. This is where you can find all of your uh, app IDs and app secrets. These are the keys that are uh, on the um, Omnioth um, initializer. So let's go back, let me paste it here. Okay, everything is, uh, it seems to be in order. Now we can close um, the initializer. Uh, and we now we need to uh, generate, if you're used to seeing my, my tutorials, I always do um, a controller home. So Rails generate controller, um, home, I always do this. Um, and then I want two pages, index and profile. Okay. Okay, everything was generated properly, no errors. Can clear the console. Uh, now let me just change the, the, okay, you see, the two pages are here, controller, let me just change the, um, and the, of course the templates there, let me change the routes, um, instead of a get home, the profile is okay, but the um, the get home, it must, is not a get, but yes, is the root, so I want it to be the root page of our, so the landing page of our site, and then you just need to put the, uh, pound sign there, yeah. Everything is working properly. We can, um, yeah, we can close it. Now, what we need to do is to uh, generate a controller for the sessions, because we, uh, as you've seen, we are not using device or anything. Uh, we are not using any authentication system. We're gonna build, uh, let's say, our very simple in, in our own. So Rails generate controller and the sessions control. That's what we want to generate. Uh, let's start to, no, actually no. I'm going to uh, delete, I don't want the, the methods created right away. So I just want to generate the controller. Oh, I must uh, did something wrong. So missing controller on routes. The routes. Everything's a rail generate control session. Mm, let me clear the console. Let me just try again, see what uh, J control sessions. Everything is in order. Let me just press enter. Let's see what. Uh, okay, so it was just a momentary bug uh, for some reason, uh, but now it's uh, it generated everything properly. Okay, you can clear the console. Now let me open uh, the Sublime. Uh, actually, my my Sublime, this one. Uh, and let's go to the uh, controllers, sessions controller, and we'll create here the, the two methods. The first is create, and the second is destroy. 
So um, this were, this is uh, the method that will create and destroy uh, the session. So basically, is the um, the authentication system uh, um, from scratch. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy from the old app these two methods. Uh, I'm going to copy in order to um, so that you can move a bit faster but don't worry I'm going to explain um, every single line of code in there okay here we are so let's begin first um, we're gonna create a variable called auth and we uh, um, do the we assign it the method here request.env omni auth dot m so wh basically what this is this is the response you get uh, when you do the callback when you press the link the Facebook uh, link uh, log in um, what you gonna receive the response it's stored in that environment variable there so request dot env this will actually give you the entire response you get uh, from the callback okay the um, Basically, this is what it does. Um, next, we're going to create a session variable called OmniAuth. And we're going to assign it the, uh, the, 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 so the response we have set on the auth there. Uh, we're going to add this little method here, the accept extra. And the reason why is because it, the response gives you a lot of information that you don't need. Uh, so uh, we just want the basic uh, information so we can put the accept uh, extra so you can get rid of that um, extra information we don't need uh, next um, we're going to create a, um, a variable ca called user and um, we're going to assign the uh, the variable to um, a user dot sign in from omni auth method this method here we're gonna uh, we actually pass the variable uh, the argument there the the response and this method here sign in from OmniAuth is going to be created from us in the user um, model so next is the session user id and we're gonna uh, actually assign uh, the user id that user id that was signed in uh, earlier we're gonna assign it to a session variable user id so Basically, you are logging in your user. So you are setting the session UI user ID, so you are logging in. Then redirect to the, the root path and give me a notice there. Uh, the destroy is uh, very straightforward. It's uh, basically delete the session variables. So uh, if you haven't, if you haven't, and then redirect me to the, the root URL. So if you have not, um, if you haven't any session variables, it means that you are logged out. So you see, this is uh, the sessions controller, very straightforward. Um, and now we're going to create the methods here. The, th this method here, sign in from OmniAuth. We're gonna we're gonna create this uh, on the user model. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to um, copy and paste these two methods here. I'm gonna don't worry. The same thing. I'm going to explain you uh, what I am doing. Okay, let me just put the tabs right here okay so first is self to sign in from OmniAuth and then create user from OmniAuth so the self uh, it means that you can call this this is not this is uh, you can call this directly from the model which is exactly what we're doing here so user the model the entire model dot sign in from OmniAuth and pass the uh, response as an argument so sign in from the OmniAuth it uses the auth the response that that argument that we've passed and then basically um, this auth here just so, so that you can uh, that you know what I'm talking about um, then what you're gonna do is going to find it's gonna find the user okay it's gonna find a user by a provider and this auth um, you see it's it's like an array so you, um, basically the the response here it's um, uh, the obje the object is is an array, so you you can actually uh, um, deal with it as you deal with any array. So you actually put the brackets there and the value that you want, and it will get you the um, and the uh, sorry you put the key there and it, it gets you uh, the value. So auth provider, so find the user by that provider, and from the UID. Basically, find the user that has those uh, credentials. If not, then, so basically, if, if, you, if you don't find the user, 
if this uh, find by fails, then create. Um, if, if if basically if, if this fails, create a user from the OmniAuth, and this method is the actual the, the method that is uh, uh, below, which is create. It basically, you you pass the same response, so you pass the same auth. Uh, but then use that uh, if if you don't find any user, then use that argument. So use that response from the the callback, um, and so the provider and the UID, and give me the um, and, and and actually create here. We, uh, you can see self dot create user for OmniAuth, and basically um, create a user with the uh, with the provider that you receive from the from the response, the UID. And the name, as you can see here, it's um, actually the uh, the, the auth info, um, and then the name. This is how you actually get to the uh, to the um, the values that you want. Okay. This basically this is your main code. This sessions controller and the user uh, model. So these four methods, let's say, it's your uh, main app. So let me just go to the the routes here and let me um, add the routing to uh, to the callbacks. So you start by typing get and uh, the 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 URL is auth slash um, provider slash callback. And see this. Um, this provider here is a symbol. So this is a dynamic, um, a dynamic um, URL, a, a link. Sorry. So um, it's a dynamic route. So I this provider will match uh, the provider you you have clicked on. So if it is uh, Facebook, it's going to be Facebook. If it is Twitter, it's going to be Twitter. Uh, but you're going to see. I'm going to show you in this in the second. So you put two sessions create. That's what where you want to redirect. So act, actually, after you're going to the callback, you want to be redirected to the sessions create. And um, and now we just need another route, which is uh, the delete for, uh, for, for us to sign out. So uh, sign out, you put a comma to sessions destroy. Okay. Now, as comma as uh, sign out. Okay. So this is uh, everything we need on the routes. Now we can actually um, we can actually close this. Um, we just need one final uh, thing before we move to um, to actually styling the app. Uh, we need to go to the application controller here, uh, and actually we need to, to create since we are not using device. So you're used to seeing current user and yeah, the method. You can see here I'm on the I'm on the demo apps. That's why the code is already uh, built. But you have here the, the the method which is current user. This is the same as the current user on device. So, but we but we have to to um, actually build it uh, from uh, our own because uh, we are not using device. So, but it's very simple. It's just um, um, a, a private method, um, which um, which basically. Uh, um, Start with the global uh, with a variable there, and you find the user by user ID. So session user ID if the session user ID exists. So um, assign this variable here to the user um, that has a session ID. So basically, um, and then you 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 you, you state it has an helper method. Uh, so this way you can use it uh, everywhere in your app. So. Uh, you can use the current user method uh, anywhere in your app. So basically, this is just um, the same that you are used to see on device. So let me just paste it here on our uh, application controller. Don't forget to put it as a private method. 
and okay so now uh, we just need to do some um, some styling but uh, since this uh, is it's already taking too long I want to continue uh, this uh, video on lecture 2 part 2 okay so see you on next part